Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Quick shout out to YouTube for demonetizing my videos. I couldn't have done it without you, fam. If you haven't subscribed yet, or if you're not grabbing content off of my Patreon page that I can't share with YouTube, you're missing out on some epic bug bounty content, man. So make sure you check the link out in the description. But anyways, today we're going to talk about my favorite topic, X, X, X. Wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. I mean, we're going to be talking about XXE, which is an XML external entity vulnerability, which means we're going to be exploiting how an application processes external entities in its input. Try saying that three times fast. So when you come across XML in your hunt, web admins, creators, or whoever, can define any types of tags in an XML document, but it's still got to follow a set of XML rules and must match a document type definition or what everybody likes to call a DTD. So what that basically means is it's a set of declarations, elements, and attributes for the XML file. So XML files can either use external DTDs, which means that it's grabbing and referencing them, or it can use an internal DTD that is included in the XML document. All this stuff is extensively written about, and I would recommend reading up on it. And one good resource I would recommend is Real World Bug Hunting by Peter Jaworski. Peter Yahoo, Peter Jaworski. And in this book, he talks about your bug bounty basics. He goes into HTTP parameter pollution, um, open redirects, cross-site request forgery, HTML injection, cross-site scripting, template injection, SQL injection, remote code execution, race conditions, and so much more. If you haven't read this book, grab it. It's a great resource for you guys out there. But without making this video 10 hours long, talking about XML entities and DTDs, let's just jump into the vulnerability and expose some secrets. Ice camera action. All right, guys. So here we are in Burp Suite. And here is my post request. And here is a simple XML file that's included in the request. You see the product ID is two, the store ID is one. And this is the XML declaration header indicating um, XML version 1.0 and UTF Unicode encoding. So how does an XXE attack work is that we're going to inject some commands in here. And while the application is expecting XML to re be returned back, it's not validating what it is and it just parses anything it gets. So let me show you an example. All right, guys, so this is our document type definition. The DTD is telling the parser that foo can include any parsable data here, uh, line 19. And then there's an entity, XXE, that should be read in line 20. Here's our entity, XXE, and it's going to be read from the file etc password when the document is parsed. So the parser should replace this element here with the password file. So let's go ahead and send that. And as you can see here in our response, we have the contents of 
the password file. So the risk factors you just saw are the application parses XML documents, unsafe data is allowed within the system ID portion of the entity that was in the DTD that you saw, the XML processor is configured to validate and process that DTD, and the XML processor is configured to resolve external entities in that DTD. So a weak security configuration will allow things like path traversal, port scanning, SSRF, and RCEs, for example. Most of the time, XML passed to the server isn't displayed or returned in such a favorable way. So in situations where XML is injectable, but not returned to the client in the HTTP response, we can use things like an external DTD file. So in the doc type, it'll reference to the external DTD file, and that will allow us to conduct this entirely out of band. So XXE injection can be as simple or as complex as the application allows for because the vulnerability lies within a weakly configured XML parser and this is a bug dependent on human error. So what that means is this bug isn't going anywhere. So when you come across XML, make sure to check for XXE vulnerabilities. And thanks for sticking with me and watching this video, guys. If you have any comments or questions, hit me up on the comment section, hit me up on Discord, and I'll see you out there on the hunt. Thank <laughs> you.